Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm PT, and for today what I have here is Flat Out 4 Total Insanity. So this game was developed by Kivaton and it's using an engine called KTHD, which was uh, used on WRC5. Okay, there was many other games where this engine was used, but the most famous one was the WRC5, and now we have it on Flat Out 4 Total Insanity. It's the first time that I'm seeing this engine, but that doesn't matter by now. So, one of the things that you should know is that Flat Out 4 is not developed by Bugbeer. In case you don't know Bugbeer, Bugbeer was the developers behind the first Flat Out, the second Flat Out, and the Flat Out Ultimate Carnage. So, this means this is not the same developer behind the game. It's a new developer. Bugbeer decided to take another road and entered on um, early access with an, uh, Wreckfest, but it was three years ago. And it was released the Flat Out 3, which was a failure, and it was released now this Flat Out 4, which I was expecting to be a failure, but I'm kind of impressed with this game, or surprised, or whatever you want to call it. So, for this video, what I'm going to, to do is to play the game in two different tracks. Okay, I'm playing the game with the minimum setting 720p. Although I did benchmark 2 with the low settings, which adds shadows and particles that is missing on the minimum settings. Uh, and you can find those results on the description of the video or by the end of it. So the two tracks that I'm going to try, one of them is the Forest Trail and the other is Valverde. Valverde is more desert and uh, desert. And Forest Rail, I have a ton of vegetation and it's raining and stuff, so it's a little bit uh, more demanding than Valverde, okay? So, another stuff that you should know. So, what about the gameplay? Well, for starters, don't be disappointing with my racing methods, because um, I'm racing with the worst car of the, the game. And when you try a single race, for example, or a quick race, the game just puts you against guys with similar cars but they are very good I mean um, they have a very powerful cars and completely tuned and I'm just this I'm just have this car which is um, it's non-tuned and so it's very hard to beat them so don't be disappointed with me with the fact that I don't going to win the race because it's completely normal okay or at least I hope so um, another thing that you should know about the game so these game really feels like Flat Out 2 or Flat Out Ultimate Carnage when you look to the map, so it clearly resembles the great memories that I spent uh, playing Flat Out 2 or Flat Out Ultimate Carnage, because all the environment is very similar, the canals, the forests, all feels like pretty much the same, although the races are completely different, I mean the pathways and the roads are different, so there is no remastered version of certain tracks, uh, they are all different tracks, but more or less with the same feeling. That's the thing that I want to say. Um, another point that I want to point out, it's about the gameplay itself. So, gameplay-wise, I think that the physics of the objects have been improved. This game is using physics free for the physics. And so, physics uh, does a great job with the objects. Although, I'm not sure if they are using physics for the cars or not, but the physics on the cars are not very good. Well, I mean, while the, the car stays on the road, the physics are good, there is drift and stuff, and um, it behaves normally, but when we talk about collisions like this one, or jumps, or something that, um, something that makes your car fly a little bit, I mean, the physics doesn't seem to be behaving in the correct way. So that's the disappointing part, although Flat Out 2 and the Ultimate Carnage was not perfect too on that regard. So I think many people are criticizing the game and saying bad things about the physics just because of that part. But I mean, Flat Out 2 and the Ultimate Carnage was not that special too regarding this, those physics. So I believe people just don't like having games with different developers. Well, I don't too, but in fact, this game is um, surprisingly well done from a developer that never made anything at all, okay? So, 
For now, that's all that I want to talk about uh, this Fallout 4. If you want to check the results, you can check it on the description of the video or by the end of it. If you are interested in buying this game, you can buy it through Steam. I have a link on the description where you can buy through Steam. Although, as soon as, I've, as, I've, as, soon as it will be available, I will put that a link to, to the Kingwin, which should be more cheaper than Steam. And if you buy through that link, um, you are going to to support me to get more games to benchmarks or better giveaways. This is exclusively if you want to, of course, you can buy uh, through Kingwin by yourself. But if you use that link, you are going to be helping me out uh, in order to get um, more games uh, to benchmark or um, to perform better giveaways, you know. And uh, with that, I would say very thank you if you use Kingwin. Um, buy that link of course you could you could buy on steam and i fully respect that decision i buy most of the games on steam too but i'm just warning that if you want to support me you can buy food okay so that's all for now that i want to talk about for out for hope you enjoyed the rest of the video and i do hope to see you soon goodbye
boys and girls, welcome to the performance section of the video. So for a flat out for Total Insanity on Valverde, what you can see is that this was the desert tech track, okay? So on the low settings, which includes uh, shadows and particles, we got an average of 37 and a minimum of 25 FPS. So it wasn't quite bad, as you can see there was just a couple of drops from the 30s on the yellow line, although on the green line, which was the minimum settings, all of these at 720p, okay? Uh, what we got was an average of uh, 45 and a minimum of 33. So, we could say that on this map we could play at low settings with no problem, with just a couple of drops. But when we changed to Forest Rail, which was severely more demanding, the low settings got an average of 30s with a minimum of 22. So as you can see, on the start of the race, where there was um, more cars near you, uh, we got a frame rate very close to the, 30, to the 20s, I mean, as you can see on the graph on the yellow line, although it seems that most of the time the game just spends its time lower than 30 FPS. Although, for the minimum settings, it was just a couple of drops that did happen with the minimum. The problem with the minimum is that there isn't any shadows or there isn't any particles, which makes the game a little bit extremely dumb dumb, let's say this way, okay? So, as you can see, on the overall of the two tracks, 22% of the frames was lower than 30 FPS with the low settings and with the minimum it was just 2%. The problem is... 44% of the frames was lower than 30 FPS on the low settings on the forest trial, which means that it was almost half of the race the game was running um, lower than 30 FPS. That is why I should recommend you to play with the minimum settings. Okay, some people might disagree with me, might prefer to have the shadows and the particles and um, having a less frame rate. In that case you can play with the low settings, but for me I think I would play with the minimum settings. The game do use 2GB of VRAM and the RAM usage was around 3.6. I have a ton of stuff on the PC so it's normal that my RAM usage is a little bit more higher than most of the people. But yet, one of the things that I conclude is that this game is completely playable with 4 gigabytes of RAM, okay? CPU usage was between the 30 to 75%. I noticed that the CPU usage raises a little bit when there is a lot of physics going on. I mean, impacts between cars or a lot of objects flying takes the CPU usage a little bit higher, but it wasn't a, any problem with it. The problem was the GPU being weak. So that's all that I want to talk about Fight Out for total insanity about the performance and gameplay hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to buy this game you can actually buy it uh, through steam i have a link on the description i will add uh, a link to kingwin on the description when the game is available there uh, i suppose it will be more cheaper and if you buy through kingwin through the link that i have on or that will be on the description uh, what will happen is that you will be helping me out to get some extra money for more benchmarks, more games, more giveaways. So it's up to you whether you decide to buy or how, okay? I'm just saying that if you buy through Kingwin and through that link, you'll be helping me out if you want to, of course. So that's all that I want to talk about for out for Total Insanity. Thank you a lot for watching and I do hope to see you soon. Any question, leave it on the description on the comment section i mean think about for watching goodbye guys